with Ed. Sometimes he's cranky, sometimes he's goofy, but he's always got a joke. Before I met him, I said meteorology. Hey, guy, that's not for me. But now I'm weathering the weather with Ed. All right. Thank you for pointing that out in there. <laughs> As you, uh, today happens to be a September 11th. And what is September 11th? The 12th an anniversary. How stupid. Yeah. Of uh, what those World disgusting people did to us. Yes. World Trade Center and uh, the Pentagon and the plane crash Correct. in uh, Western Pennsylvania. Yeah. Here's an article I just got yesterday. It says that 1,400 people, including first responders, have World Trade Center related cancer. So this thing's not over, and it won't be over for a long time. We're being serious here. It's none of this other garbage for now, all right? Very serious. Th thank you. Mo more than 1,000 people have lived or worked near Ground Zero, that's the World Trade Center, including first responders, have been diagnosed with cancer related to the September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center, health officials say. According to the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, 1,140 people have been certified with WTC, the World Trade Center-related cancer, and that number is expected to grow. This is from the Daily News, which is New York City. There are more cases out there because we just know the people in our government-funded medical program programs, not those who have been treated by their private doctors. Because of the carcinogens in the air at Ground Zero, people were exposed People who were exposed are vulnerable, and with cancer, there is a delay. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah, Tina Angle, an oncology nurse at North Shore Hospital's WTC Clinic in Queens, where I came from, told the people she identified 12 new cases in the last two months and has another 25 patients whose diagnostic, diagnostic tot, test results are pending. The good news is that with new federal funding, I get what I need when I need it for our patients. Their biopsies and scans are turned around in a week. Cancer trumps everything. You better believe it. As many as 65,000 people, including first responders, became sick from the 9-11 because of the toxic air. There's some woman who's 60, uh, Mary uh, Serva, Serva, what the heck, Servavelli? Wait. Servavellon. Servavellon. All right. 63-year-old engineer who spent more than two months at ground zero, two months, a long time. Following the attacks, developed gastroesophageal cancer in 2011. You don't get that right away. It's, uh, you're gone. It was always in the back of everyone's mind. We were in jeopardy given the contamination down there, but the entire world was calling on us. That was Marty. I'm sorry, not Mary. Gosh. He felt, uh, he felt, it felt so good to serve. There were no wanting, wanting to escape 2011. All right. No, that was in 2000. That wanting to escape what happened. So this is not over. So you people who pay attention to your sports, you know, there are things much more important than that. After All 12 right. years, there are still people getting sick. There still be more. This from, is from you know, not only. They're upset about what happened. They're still getting sick about, you know, the all the chemicals, all the cancer, but, and right. it's still happening, even yeah. though it was 12 years ago. And some of them are. Uh, that's just cancer. There's other stuff. Yeah, I don't know that's what pretty they are, crazy. What's going on, but uh, but what particularly they are. But so I think it's a little more important than the Red Sox, the Bruins, and the Patriots. Who did I leave out? Or the soccer game, because all the soccer game. You know, That's Brazil your... and Portugal last night. Brazil. They don't even know. It. You know. Brazil's in the Southern Hemisphere, <laughs> South America. <laughs> you have to tell them where it is. And Portugal's in the Iberian Peninsula. It's abutted, it's abutted <laughs> by Cleveland, right? It's abutted by Spain. Am I allowed to say abutted? All right. <laughs> Let's get started here with the questiones. So that's, that was my, ser here's another serious thing. I'm still hawking <laughs> my book. 20. You gotta buy the book, guys. Buy the book. Look how good it is. It's Bethany only, will come it's to only your how much? Is it 20, 25? 20, what is this, a sale? 25. I just want to make sure it's 25. Confirm, 25. I bought the book. I even had my manager and my owner buy the that's book. That's right. This book is amazing. You have to buy it. Yeah, it comes up Perfect. with a pop-up tour. Any questions about weather? <laughs> He's the man to talk That's to. That's right. <laughs> $25, and all of it, go, well, net, goes to the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. And I want to thank you so far for a total input of zero bucks. Thank you. <laughs> Just keep their letters coming, folks. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Make a check out to me. I won't abscond with it. <laughs> all right. Well, on another note, Ed, yes, today's note? weather show, what is it on? I have no idea. Oh. Air you already forgot? Air outside air quality. <laughs> I like to say air that today quality. it's a nippy 95. Heat index about 102. No problem. The atmosphere is a fever. So it's very today. hot. 
Is it really? Is it? So it's I very hot. I noticed as I passed out coming out of the car. All Don't right. wear your swimsuit. Hmm? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Our first question. All right. Comes first from, question. From, go ahead. I don't, I don't know who it comes from, though. That's the question. It didn't come from anybody. It came from me. came from Big from E. Yeah. Okay, good. Good job. What is the difference between a primary and secondary pollutant? I have no idea. Oh, primary pollutant comes right out of the source, like a car. You get some of the... Uh, you know, a car. Hmm. So if I have a smoke, so some of the stuff would... comes right out immediately. And a, a secondary pollutant, uh, no, that has to be a chemical reaction in the atmosphere. In that case, you're the secondary one. Gotcha. And so and it, doesn't, it doesn't mean which, which one's the worst. It depends on what you're talking about. But, but they're know. both pretty bad. I mean, it's not, well, like, one's not, pretty, it's not like one's better than the other. Well, you know, they're know. both I bad. I haven't tasted them yet. <laughs> All right. Well, I would hope you wouldn't be eating them. Don't do this at home. I Never. fry them. So our next question is actually from Claire Bridgewater from which Unity Maine. Which is a real Maine, name. You asked me Which that. is a real name. Honestly, I was a little confused about whose name it was because, I mean, I went to Bridgewater. That's in Mass. That's a town in Mass. I, I'm, a, I'm sorry, Claire. I, this is I was Unity, unaware. Maine. But she's from Maine, not Bridgewater, Mass. Exactly. Oh, okay. All right. So, anyways, Claire wants to know. I would like to know how much pollution affects the colors we see in the sky. Good question for today. Those so, like the beautiful sunset. Uh, is yes. that what she's talking about? Uh, for instance, the white clouds today, if they were out there, they'd appear brown because of pollution, nitrogen. Noxes, you remember that family. <laughs> nitrogen oxides, okay, or oxides of nitrogen. It appears brown, and uh, the air is brown today too. It's really tasty, and uh, we, you'd see a fiery sunset. Yo, really? Like a fireball, if you can still huh. see it. Yeah, I have trees in so the So if way. it's fire, that means there's more pollution in the sky. Yeah, it looks even worse. Yeah. So it looks like it can can look reddish going down, on, but yeah. when it's really polluted, it really looks like a fireball. Wow. Or is it, who's that song? Better check that out. So that sunset that you think is really beautiful Disgusting. actually isn't. What was that song? Fire. Fire, that? fire. Who was that? Um, good question. I don't know. Oh, one of those. Well, all right, go ahead. All right. Same person as So question same person. Two. Claire again. Claire wants to know. Claire's she a has a lot of questions. I'm very, well, very, very glad. Well, she's very inquisitive, yeah. Well, I'm very glad she asked because, I, I mean, tired of writing what it. else would we do? I don't know. <laughs> would people eating less beef <laughs> decrease don't greenhouse this gas is true. emissions? To pick, keep up what? Yeah, this is... Uh, this Do is, they decrease greenhouse gas emissions? You know, the cows, I'll tell you right now, they put out a lot of swamp gas. <laughs> Methane. All right. This is, now, this is an article from 26 November. Cattle rearing generates more global warming greenhouse gases as measured in CO, CO2, uh, carbon <laughs> dioxide equivalent, than transportation. Mm. Huh. Good. Then... then uh, uh, then smarter production methods, the cleaner ones, including improved animal diet, including improved animal diet diets to reduce enteric. And we all know what enteric. Oh, we don't. Fermentation <laughs> and consequent methane invas inv invasions, emissions. Invasions. I used to teach reading. Are urgently <laughs> needed. Long day today. Thank you. <laughs> all right, livestock. I tell you, these guys are really gassy. Okay. When emissions from land use and land use change are included, the livestock sector accounts for nine percent of the so carbon. You want to read this carbon dioxide deriving from human-related activities. How do you like them apples? But produces a much larger share of even more harmful greenhouse gases. It generates sixty-five percent of human-related nitrous oxide. That's sleep. Nitrous. Laughing gas. Oh. Nitrous which has 296 times the global warming potential of carbon dioxide. Most of this comes from manure. So I guess we... This is, really? Yeah. This, this is a serious thing. Counts uh, for... Pro, to res, what? And it accounts for, respectfully, 37% of all human-induced methane. Hmm. <laughs> 23 times as, warm, as warming as CO2, which is largely produced by the digestive systems of these things, and it's 64% of ammonia, which contributes significantly to acid rain. All right, we'll do acid rain a little bit later. So these cows have got to stop breaking wind. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> how do you do this? I asked you, how do you do this in the control room? <laughs> they have no idea because they're sleeping. <laughs> Beyond improving animal diets, proposed remedies to the multiple problems include soil conservation. I almost said conversation methods. <laughs> together with controlled livestock. Ex I knew somebody was livestock. Exclusion from sensitive areas, like a bathroom, I guess. <laughs> Setting up biogas plants, so you take the gas and fire it in there. 
to recycle manure. Oh, I like recycled manure. Really? Something good to save. Not to eat. Improving <laughs> efficiency of irrigation systems and introducing a full cost, full cost pricing for water, water, together with taxes to discourage large scale livestock concentration close to cities. In other words, stop eating so much beef. Oh, McDonald's is going to sponsor us, right? All right. Nobody sponsors. So the answer would be yes. You're damn right. Oh, I'm sorry. You know sorry. the short answer, Claire, is yes. Yeah, but Claire. Sorry, it took so long to get there. They, they just wanted to clarify. They, they have estimates for around 2050. And that's not $20.50. Wow. And, uh, you know, it's a, it is a problem. Especially if you, just go buy a farm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Little old difference here. All right, Claire, that was uh, an excellent question. All right, the next one actually is from Danielle from Fitchburg. Who was supposed to be here today. Who was today. supposed to be here, and she didn't show up. She had... Yeah? I, I really don't know what, what she, she had. She had a previous engagement. What was his name? I mean, we can say that, yes. It was her best friend's son's birthday party. Oh, I could see why. I mean, so she kind of has to go. You know, it's like her child if it's her best friend's child. So she wasn't say. there at the scene of the crime, so what's the difference? <laughs> All right, well, what is Danielle's question? Danielle wants to know, what is the most poisonous air pollutant? Who the hell knows? I don't know. Oh, how about air toxins? Here's a problem with that thing. There's a, I think there's 187 different ones. So you pick. There's 187, I believe. But uh, let's see. How, what would wh do the most damage? But don't drink the gasoline. <laughs> it's got benzene in it. Toxic air pollutants. Known as TAPS. TAPS. Toxic air pollutants. Are Easy those pollutants that are... What? Easy to remember. TAPS. Not really. Yeah, not blow the horn. You know what the TAPS are? Kind of sounds cool. New slang. Now, what is TAPS? TAPS. What does it mean? I don't know. You just said it was... Oh, toxic air pollutants. <laughs> exactly. We're going to have to use that now. What time did you get up today? <laughs> three in the morning? I got up actually at two. I left the house at three this Why morning. Why are you so early? Well, I had to go to work this morning. Oh, you don't? Well, you know, that's what happens when... You have people that actually, you know, don't show up. So, you know, you have to pick up the slack and do well, extra. Well, call me up. I'll come over. What the heck you call me for? Next time he's coming, you guys heard. Yeah. Witness. I want money. Oh. I'll give you coffee. I don't know about money. We don't, you know, I don't yeah. really like to pay people. They don't like it We're either. We're not going to pay you. I know. <laughs> All right, TAPS. Are those plumes that are known or suspected to cause cancer or other serious health effects, such as reproductive effects? We about to say reproductive effects here? Or birth defects? Yeah, you know. Birth defects? Yeah, or well, birth defects. Sounds better. Or to cause adverse environmental effects. Big words here. Some, some taps are immediately dangerous to human health, even in small quantities. Some taps cause... This sounds stupid with taps. Some taps cause health <laughs> you, problems if the exposure extends over a long period of time. Stop talking in the control room. Sorry. Thank you. That's great. You sickos. Where's my money? Oh, the degree to which a toxic air pollutant affects a person's health depends on many factors, including the quantity of pollutant the person is exposed to. We allow us to expose things? Mm. The, well, it's a we want to get one. the ratings up. Tricky one. <laughs> the, the duration and frequency of exposures, the toxicity of the chemical, and the person's state of health and, ex and susceptibility. Yeah, all right. So, uh, 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 ben there's a lot of there's benzene and gasoline. So don't, and benzene is known to cause a... So for that one, to, to sum it up, I just want to sum it up real quick. <laughs> I just want to, no, I, well, I just want to make sure, All I right, want to clarify ahead. a little bit. So there is no, re, there is no pinpoint exact which one is poisonous. I don't know which, which one, one is poisonous. the worst. There's 187 that choose Exactly, from. so you can't really pick one you which is the most match. poisonous. I can't, I didn't find it. So really what it depends on is, you know, the factors you bring into it, like how here's, long they're there. Right, and, here's a challenge, you people. Where are you? You. Oh, you. You out you, there. You, you, you. <laughs> you. <laughs> what are you doing basketball? You, 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 you. All right. <laughs> uh, what's the challenge? If you can find it, send it in to us. Find the most poisonous. No, pollutant. toxic. Oh, toxic. Yeah. Toxic tap. Toxic. Yeah. Air pollutant. It's a tap. Thank you. It's a Not tap. A, oh, yeah, a tap. It's a tap. Toxic. Thank you. I'm going to get up and do a tap here. <laughs> I'm going to tap on the... Just don't dance. Hey. Not at all. All right. What's the next question? All right. What season where are, are pollution you? levels? I'm on number five. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, where are you? You paying attention? Isn't no, I'm paying attention? Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes? All right. What season are pollution levels generally the worst and why? The summertime. You know, I figured you were going to say that. 
I kind of had a feeling. It was a song, some, 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 summertime. No, In that's summertime. The no, living is sleazy. It, oh. no, that's from something else. <laughs> All right, the control room's sleeping again, because because the air does not get interchanged that much. It's in because it's so hot. No, because, because the weather why? systems hang around more it's in the summer. Very stagnant. Yeah, thank you. Today's word is stagnant. Stagnant. You like that? Back itches. Yes. All right. Number six, please. All right. What's you can't. Oh, okay. I was going to say it's the same. I was going to say it's the same question, but it's not. Um, what season are pollution levels generally the lowest and why? That's with a W. Correct. <gasps> winter. Right, because the weather systems change more often in the winter time. So it's like a beautiful winter wonderland. No, that's snow. Seems very, very nice. I know. Well, in the winter, do you get snow? Used to, but not around here anymore. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You know that thing that's not happening? No. Yeah, yeah. like last... Ozone. Ozone. What the heck's back here? <laughs> Did you put itching powder on this uh, thing? You should have. <laughs> All right. What Wake are... up, executive producer. Come right. on. You ready for the next question? Are you ready in there? there you... All right. Put that hand up. All right. Go ahead. Yes. All right. What are the different types of sources of emissions? All right. The different types of sources of emissions. You can have area emissions. Area like emissions, a mall. which would be? Like a mall. Okay. Well... A factory. Oh, okay. All right. You can have... You can have a, a, a stationary, which a car that's parked, but it's running. Okay. Or a, a smoking stack. That's like when you uh, turn your car on, leave the garage, in, inside the garage. No, you don't have to be. You know, that's outside. a little poisonous. No, you keep a little. A little, you know, light the, car, you know, turn the car I'm on, the, the you know, floor. it's a little bad. All right, so no, you, you're a, a car can be stationary and it's emitting, and it can be moving, so it's a, a it's a moving one. Gotcha. So you get, all right. Then you can have a point sauce, like a smokestack. Mm. Mm. Awesome. All right. All right. What is the pH scale? Didn't you skip something? No, I didn't skip oh, anything. all right. Oh, it was Did station. you add something? I want to be a stationary mobile area and print sauce from Brooklyn right there. Go ahead. I'm glad you added that. I, I, so am I. Okay. Next question. Yeah. What is pH scale? I don't know. Do it's know some what cream you can buy. <laughs> It's, it, it measures, get this, folks, the hydronium ion. Repeat that in there. Come on. Not iodine, ion. Ion. Where's Mark? Is he in there? Hi, Mark. See the hand. Hi, nice to see you again. Put it down. <laughs> All right. What the heck was the question? Oh. What is the pH All scale? Right. The lower the number, the more basic it is. The higher the number, the more... Yes, correct. Let's try it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> The lower the number, the more acidic it is, and the higher the number <laughs> is the more... I can't say alkaline. They'll be calling me up. What does that mean? Basic. It goes from 0 to 14. And neutral is Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, right. 7 is neutral. Aren't All right. they little... <clears throat> don't you have little strips? That's like I a little pH. I don't in public. No, no. Um, like, I don't know, they maybe vomit. in like chemistry or anything like that. There's little strips that you can stick into yes. like the water. The blue and... turns pink and the yes, pink turns... Yes, I have that for work, actually, for my sanitizer solution and my dishwashing. You know, Thank stuff. you. Thank you. All, All right. right. Now, I didn't finish it. Got it. Okay. So, for instance, if you have a pool and you get a summertime thunderstorm, you, 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 go, you have to check the acidity of the water. It's probably come down the number because it's loaded with garbage this time of year in the Well, not this, it's a, and I, a summertime air mass, which we have today. Exactly. And so you have to buffer it. And that would well, buffer it. All right. Thank <laughs> you. Wax. Go ahead. What is acid precipitation? That's a new band that they Ooh. just recorded. A new band? Band. A band. band. Acid precipitation, that's anything with the... Uh, by the way, these idiots, can I say idiots? <laughs> These human beings on TV and radio, they say acid rain. Excuse me. <laughs> They're lazy. It's acid precipitation. You can have acid freezing rain, which is very tasty. I you can, can have imagine. acid snow or acid hail, that but not good. acid rock. That sounds pretty good, too. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anything less than 5.6 is on the, on the uh, pH scale is considered acidic for precipitation purposes. And do you know why? Dash. Why? The water. I don't know. The water. <laughs> the water is uh, uh, the water. Is not water has uh, carbon dioxide dissolved in it, because carbon dioxide is naturally occurring in the atmosphere, to begin with. Correct. When it, thank you. When they talk <laughs> about this global warming stuff, they, that's the CO two that's been added in, extra, oh. from us pollution. 
So you get a weak acid, which is carbonic acid. What? It's a very weak acid. <laughs> very weak acid. And so that's the pH is 5, 6. If you go out in the middle of the Atlantic, I don't think there's too many pollution sources. Although, you know, those sharks can be a little... Yeah. yeah. Especially a little if they fishy. Eat, especially if they, if they <laughs> eat uh, some Mexican food there. I don't know, gas. So it's under 5.6. And 5.6 is the answer? Don't look at the top. There's nothing going on. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question, please. All right. Who regulates the amount of pollution that can be emitted from a source? Yeah. Ragu? Oh, sorry. A source. Oh, sorry. All right. You have the federal government, known as the EPA, the Environmental Protection Associ Association Agency. You have the state, which usually they call them, hi there, no. call them DEQ. DEQ. -E Department of Environmental Quality. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They have local <laughs> ones, too. So say if I have like a, a big factory. Chance. I can only let out certain amount of, of gases pollu yeah. and pollutions yeah, and all that stuff. Amount. So what happens if I, you know, give too much? No, no, no. no you get a big no. fine. You get hit. Correct. Uh, you have to correct that. All right. Do you know who would? So it's just pretty much the government regulates. Who would be it? on the take? <laughs> no, the, <laughs> who, the who, who exactly? <laughs> the government sets limits. All right, and then the federal <laughs> you government says, huh? You can only give ten dollars a week. <laughs> yeah. They set limits at a level, right? And then the state has to be. Uh, it can be as strict as or more strict or as the students would say. Yeah. <laughs> more stricter? More stricter or, or more strict, <laughs> if you want to say it correctly. All right? Interesting. Not at all, man. Oh, yes, it is. Now, there are... So, you, know, you, there can, are you can poison the world, but only just a little just just bit. A, there, are, there are six <laughs> common air pollutants. Ozone, which we'll get to. Particulate matter. That's the soot that's coming down. Oof. Stuff you can't... What's something? Carbon monoxide. Just suck up from the car. <laughs> Nitrogen oxides, that's that brown garbage from combustion. Automobiles on that. Sulfur dioxide. Oh, and then <laughs> lead. I've always found lead to be tasty. You know, I did eat it when I was younger. Yeah, like in lead paint. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. So I told you not to do that. When I got lead poisoning. It was pretty, pretty that's, horrible. You did? I swear I did. God, so that explains it. Yeah, it was pretty it. bad. It was pretty... That's what do you mean that explains it? I don't know. <laughs> that's what I, I'm just looking through the sports scores here. All right. All right. You ready next. for the next question? I'm not ready for anything. Go ahead. All right. On a cold day or what night, is this? A, a, doesn't matter. Is this on a Kentucky rain song? With, <laughs> on a cold Kentucky day. Rain. On a cold night. All no, right. it was cold. On a cold Kentucky day or rain. night. Cold, you were with me, but you left. Oh God. The, uh, the, next American Idol yes. winner. Yes, That's here you. it is. Ed, no voice going. There we go. <laughs> Ed, no voice going. Wake up in the control room again. Turn around, there, executive producer. All right, so it can be either a cold or... Hey, she just... Mm, to you too, lady. She just doesn't... All right. You know, we got five minutes. Who cares? Got I mean, yeah, questions. go ahead. All oh. right. On a cold day or night, you see white smoke coming out of a smokestack or a vehicle's tailpipe. What is that pollution? It says, is that pollution? Oh, is that pollution? I'm sorry. She, she, she just took a... What, English or French? Well, line? I mean... Your name's Rafael. Isn't you the answer read yes? Spanish? I feel like... No. The they answer's do... No. They do these com com yeah, don't look. Oh no. Well, now I'm confused. No, they, they, uh, <laughs> they do these commercials where the car is idling at the light because it's red, and you see all this stuff coming out of the uh, tailpipe. Okay. That's on a cold day. It's water droplets because it, it's condensed oh. the water vapor. They make you think that it's uh, pollution. See, okay, well that makes sense. I'm thinking like, you know, that like brown smoke. That's. Well, I guess that's it's not he, white. So. That's not brown smoke. Is he's burning something in there? <laughs> yeah, it's not good. No. Get out of the car. Just like you see, just like when you you talk in real cold weather and your breath condenses. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, that kind of tricked me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Who are the biggest emitters of pollution in owl? the entire Who? world? Who? 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 All right. Yeah. All right. You ready? China. You remember that the Olympics a few years ago in the oh, summer? God. You couldn't even see anything. <laughs> I was wondering why the runners should have gas masks on. <laughs> and in India, you, you know India. Real quick, do you know they actually wear face masks in China? Of course. I Well, I found that out. We had a foreign exchange student. Like I said, I went to Bridgewater. Hi, Claire. And um, not not to Claire's house, but to actually like the Bridgewater Oh, town, yeah, Unity, you know? Maine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Unity, Maine, Claire. I just want to point that out there. Yeah, thank But you. I went there, and there was foreign exchange students, and they had... Mask on their face, like the doctor mask. Here? Here. What is she worried about? And the reason they had it, because I kind of asked her, we were, you know, uh, I'm curious, I, I want to know. Well, she told me that, you know, China's so bad that they 
they're used to wearing it, so they wear it all the time. You should have told her to go to Los Angeles. I told her, be careful. Los Angeles. Care <laughs> Why? Don't think she's contagious. They have that thing. <laughs> you go to Los Angeles, Everyone they run. have these air alerts out there. Really? Yeah. They have chunky. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> tasty, chunky, and don't even breathe. It's terrible That's pretty out bad. There. That's oh, pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. All right, so who are the biggest emitters? I just said China and oh sorry so that's China, China and India those are the biggest oh they're gotcha. emerging gotcha 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 they don't want so they just said you had your chance to pollute now it's ours <laughs> we're gonna blame right. Bangladesh I is haze pollution no 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 I said no 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 no, no means no guys no ma haze haze means it's just water haze droplets voices. that's just water droplets not pollution all right all right so what is photochemical pollutant what is sorry I'm sorry. What is a photochemical pollutant? It's a pollutant that's formed by uh, uh, the sunlight, ultraviolet ra Look into my eyes. <laughs> ultraviolet radiation. And uh, the famous one, yes, Would is be? ozone. Oh, well, don't get too excited. Oh, oh my goodness. You have O2, you have O2, and it gets, uh, there's, there's other parts of this thing, but it, 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 it comes out, it, that's a secondary pollutant, ozone. Mm. Mm. It has, gotcha. Because mm. mm. that's, because it has to be cooked <laughs> by the ultraviolet radiation, so that's called photochemical. Gotcha. Because it has to, really, it has to do with the sun. So, photochemical. And uh, it's, uh, what the hell was that? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. And now I was almost, number 50, 155 left in the third period. All right, here we go. Go ahead. All right. How, how, wait, how's it going on in there? Huh? Pretty good. The audience today, can you pan the audience? <laughs> We have three we crickets. We have a big, big crickets, crowd today. To the, they're so big. I, it's it's packed. We actually have people standing in the hall. We have standing room only. They're all standing outside. All right. I mean, we couldn't fit this in this big room, but it's okay. Hey, calm down in there. Go ahead. All right. 615. What substance in the air is a pollutant at ground level and something we need in the stratosphere? Yes. That's, a, that's the part of the atmosphere above, right directly above the, oh, at, the troposphere, which is where weather, where weather takes place. Right? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. The answer is ozone. It's a pollutant at ground level, but in the stratosphere, it, it blocks uh, some of the uh, ultraviolet radiation. You know the stuff that cooks you and gives you skin cancer? Yeah, exactly. You know, so the woman who's 25 and her skin looks like shoe leather? I actually saw someone the other day. Isn't she that was, disgusting? She looked, it was pretty awful. Pretty awful. It's also called skin cancer, too. Yeah. Her skin's like shoe leather. We have an oncologist on duty at the I beach. I bet she... 48 seconds. All right, we got one last question from Miss Mary, Ed's wife. Yeah, is she? I didn't know. Oh, sorry. Miss Mary. Mary Cohen. She's from Westwood, Mass. Woo, hi, Mary. Yay. All right. All right. Why does the sky get brown? That's because of the pollution. And look outside today <laughs> if you can find it. Nitrous oxides. NOx. Ox, o yeah, oxides? oxides of nitrogen. NOx. There's also SOX, which gotcha. is oxides of... Uh, <laughs> of the red oxides of sulfur. Now we have, we have 16 seconds left and I'd like to bring this back up again. Taps are bad, guys. Taps are bad. Guys, this you is this book, $25. Come on now, we need, I mean, look over here. Parkinson does not go away. It, it will eventually, you know what it does. It, I know. Yeah, it gets rid of you. And that, uh, all right, put the theme on because I have to wave. <laughs> I guess we're not waving. I think what it says zero I was zero out here. the weather with Ed. Sometimes he's cranky, sometimes he's goofy, but he's always got a joke. Before I met him, I said meteorology. Hey, guy, that's not for me. But now I'm weathering the weather with Ed.